where I live is a highland in Vietnam. This is a remote area located in the north of my country. This place is almost an isolated place, surrounded by mountains and forests. The terrain is rugged, the road is also very difficult. Therefore, the economy here is still underdeveloped, the lives of the people here are still difficult. Most of the young people here have to leave their hometown to work for companies and businesses to make ends meet. Actually, this is my wife's hometown, I came to her like a destiny. This place is full of mountains and forests, so there are a lot of ants, which is a great thing for an ant hunter like me. Typical here is an ant called Campanota singularis. This is a large, beautiful and very fragrant ant. They have a red head and a gray-black body. Queen size from 17 mm, 20 mm and 11 mm, 19 mm with worker ants. Their numbers are usually no more than 500 to 1,000 individuals found in the natural environment. As a large species of ants, they grow quite slowly when they first form a colony. But according to the research documents they will grow very fast once the number of herds has reached from 50 workers. In general, these are gentle ants, rarely attacking humans, unless you touch them. Today I am catching a flock of Campanota singularis. But according to my observations, this ant colony is quite small. Looking at the characteristics of the burrow and the size of the worker ants, I can confirm this ant colony is probably no more than 100 individuals. Look, the worker ants are rickety and smaller than their normal size. It's a sign that these are the queen's first worker ants. Queens of many ant species usually do not eat or drink anything during reproduction. They often feed their young with the energy stored in their body, they use saliva to feed the larvae. They don't eat until the first worker ants appear. This is a mother's natural instinct and great sacrifice. Based on these characteristics, I can say that this ant colony was established not so long ago. I have now caught more than 40 worker ants and I don't know if there are many more workers inside the cave. I often use chicken feathers to catch ants, it looks slow but the feathers are soft so it's safe for ants. I accept slow catch but this will avoid physical impact on the ants thereby limiting risks such as injury or stress. Oh, look at these ants so cute. Okay come on in here. Maybe I'll catch this ant with my hand. Okay, come here my cute ant. Wow, I finally saw the queen ant. Oh no, it fell again. Great, I received it earlier than expected. Oh my god, a huge queen ant. All right, come here my beautiful queen. Oh my god. Let's go inside. It's not good, the small ants are coming to steal the larvae. Too bad. Now I'll have to quickly pick up all the larvae for them before the invading ants come in more.
Alright, it's all cleaned up. Now I will put these eggs and larvae in for them. Okay, all will be fine. So I successfully caught a swarm of ants. Lots of eggs and cocoons. Okay. Overall, this ant nest doesn't go to deep, unlike the crowded ant colonies I've caught. In total, there are only about 50 worker ants and one queen. It can be said that this is a colony of ants that is neither large nor small, which is very suitable for raising. Okay, the video ends here. Thank you for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch the latest videos. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.